for our May Property Podcast with uh, Remax. Uh, we're chatting to uh, Karen Lombard from uh, Remax in Sedgefield, and she specializes in farms and small holdings. Uh, chatting to her a bit today here on our podcast. Uh, Karen, uh, thank you for joining us in studio. Welcome. Thank you, Aaron. And um, yeah, thanks for having me here. Nice to have you here. Karen, how long have you been doing uh, the property thing? Well, with uh, Remax, I've been with Remax since uh, 2015. Okay. Um, but before that, I worked in Cape Town for five years, but there was a 17 year gap in between those. those okay. Two. Two time, yeah, two slots. I'm sure the property market has changed significantly. Oh, tremendously! I mean, when I started way back, there was no internet, there was no emails, there was everything was different. (laughs) You know, we were we were advertising the newspapers. Uh huh. Boards were very important. Still is. Yeah. Um, Yeah. See, there was no social media whatsoever. So how did we even cope? I don't know (laughs) because when I started again, I was so excited. Every morning, I would get up and see what emails I've got, who inquired on what. You know, (laughs) back then you were dependent on a phone. Um, Yeah. People would phone you or walk into your office. Um, That was basically it. So yeah. now we've we've uh, there was so much, so much more we've got so much more to work with um, technology wise and it's yeah. just yeah convenient but very convenient yeah <laughs> mm, very so in Cape Town what did you uh, specialize in over there was it also farms and small uh, no not at all I worked um, in residential area okay uh, Tableview Blowbrook area oh wow yes. okay well that's the Blowbrook's lovely yes it's lovely okay so and how did you end up here in the garden route. Because every time um, we had a weekend off or we had a holiday, we would spend it in Sedgefield. Ah. Like, uh, like I think, 80% of the people that live there. <laughs> yeah. That's how it happens in Sedgefield. So, yeah, I kept on, we kept on coming to Sedgefield. Love it. Absolutely love the area. There's, I always say somebody might like it as much as me, but nobody can like it more. I love the area. Yeah. <coughs> now, uh, Corin, if you can uh, choose between uh, specializing in residential uh, property or a small uh, farm holding or farms and small holdings, uh, what would you choose and well, why? I, I I would definitely choose a farm farms and small holdings like I am at the moment. I I still do town. I still do the residential. Okay. Um, but I love walking around on the farms and the mm. small holdings, dreaming about, dream all the dreams with the clients and dream oh, up, well, wow. we can do this and you can do that and yeah, bring yeah. in that or just carry on with this. It's, um, yeah, it's lovely. I love the farms. I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere else but walking on the farms every day. I can see there's a sparkle in your eyes when you say <laughs> that. So I can see it means a lot to yeah, you as well. I love what I'm doing. I really love eh? it, yeah. The people, the, the people properties. I work with, when you work with your rural clients, um, they're different. You know, you don't, mm. you don't ever get your, um, if I may say this, your teased up here, <laughs> yeah, high hills and, and, back full, and full down to back earth. Yeah. Earthy people, I love that. Yeah. That's much yeah. better, hey? Yeah. <clears throat> it's, yeah. <laughs> works for me <laughs> and and how is uh, the market at the moment here in our area it is very good um i mean everybody I, unfortunately like it is when we haven't got a lot of stock people think that their places are worth more than what you get in the end so it takes a little bit longer for some of the other places to sell but otherwise i mean it's they do go the, the small holdings i feel uh, sometimes it's a Five years ago, I could show quite a few places in a certain price range. If I can show two places in one price range at the moment, I'm happy to do that. But there's very, very little stock. So mm. people don't, unfortunately, don't have a lot to choose from. But we have a lot of people now, especially after COVID, they realize they can work from home yep. or anywhere. And they realize that they can now make their dream come true and live on a small holding or a lifestyle oh, property yeah. and stuff like that and still work from there because we've got our internet connections very good everywhere. So. Yeah, all you need is internet. Yeah. And, well, electricity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of our small holdings are off the grid. Okay. Uh, or semi off the grid. I was going to ask you now. Yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. So, so you say in, in terms of stock, it, it is a bit low. 
which uh, I think Robin also mentioned that to me yes. when we spoke last time. Yes, no, the, the, the stock um, is low, but we've got nice stock. We, we're still at, at least always, there's always something coming in. You know, just when you think, oh my word, what am I going to, what am I going to sell? Um, then somebody phones you and says, listen, I, I, we're planning to move. Oh, yeah, yeah that's it's always, always it's, it's, there's always something. Yes, yeah, there's always something, yeah. That's fantastic. And, uh, Karen, I want to ask you also, this is maybe a funny question, but let's say I buy a farm. Do I sometimes get the animals with, uh, with the farm? Yes. Yes, a lot of the times people. I, I was just wondering now. Yeah. It's a random question, or do I have to bring my own animals? No, you know, when you live on a small holding or a farm, you have your your little zoo around the house. You've got yeah. your chickens. You've got That's this. It. You've got that. But it's not always something you want to get rid of, or can you can, but it's not ideal. So mm. I mean, you've got your chickens that lay the eggs and all of that. Yeah. So <laughs> it is nice when the next people come in and say. Can I take the chickens over? Because that's the idea. Um, you just carry on with the lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. The, the actual Unless they're too attached to the chickens and they want to pack them in as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, yeah, no. No, I often get that, yeah. Okay, well, that's I even sold one small holding up in uh, Crybush, and there were, I think, eight or nine horses on the farm. Oh, wow. Three pigs, uh, pff, I don't know, 200 chickens. There was a whole lot of animals. So, you, yes, we do, we do get that. And what kind of area in the garden route would you say, where's the loveliest farm that you've ever been or that you ever sold? Oh... So, but well, they're all different and charming they, or, in their own way. You know way. what? I, I, there's not a single one I don't absolutely love because there's something fantastically great about every single farm out there. Mm. You, you just need to look for it. Um, there's there's negatives to some of them. Some of them very needs a lot of work. Um, mm. um, but I mean, they all have something fantastic about it. So. I can't really answer that one. Okay. Yeah. No, fair enough. I know that in the cities and and so on, or, you know, know, the bigger uh, areas, uh, people uh, have safety concerns living on a farm, you know. Mm. Uh, Touch wood, here in in our area, our farms are still relatively safe. Would you agree with that? Very, very much so. I also live in a rural area myself, um, just outside Sedgefield. We have... um, farm watch groups whatsapp groups exactly yeah and i always when people ask me that when my when my prospective buyers come and they ask me about the security i tell them that we've got a couple of farm watch groups we've got these that's in the smaller areas and the big areas and i show them what's on there and um i would say nine out of ten of the posts would be there's a dog missing or a cow in the road Mm. or a tree fell over the road or something like that. That's good. And then here and there, there's a um, suspicious-looking vehicle. That's good. And people will follow that up. Got to be proactive, yeah. Very much so. So you live on a farm yourself as well? Yes, I do, just outside Sedgefield. Have you got animals? I've got uh, four horses. Oh, wow. And I've got... um, Three Ridgebacks and oh, a few chickens. Oh, that's so and nice. Cats and kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably enough, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, for kids also to experience farm life, I mean, that's just, you yeah. can't put a price on that, eh? No, you that's can't. It's just a completely different lifestyle. I, I actually wish I had that as a Yes, kid. no, it is. It's different. It's uh, They have responsibilities more, mm-hmm. I think, so than the people in town. Um, they have to help on the farm or the or the, or the small holdings. Exactly. They have to, um, be it feeding of animals or whatever. Mm, mm. Um, yeah. So and then of course there's the pros. You can teach your child to drive when they're six or seven years old. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. So no noisy a, neighbors or neighbors <coughs> complaining. No, you can shoot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, you can. It's do just things so much it. better and space. Yeah. Space and yeah. and freedom, eh? Yes, that's the big. But thing. the other thing about our area that I absolutely love is that we've got the rivers. We've got so many rivers. Uh, people running out mm. of water, they can actually go to the rivers. That's they've got the fresh water side and the salty water side mm. on the lake side. 
um, and then you can you can uh, sub, you can get some water if you need extra water for your yeah. place there. But it's also a get together for the kids and the community at the end of the day. When in, in summertime, it's like a tea party when you go oh. for a swim at the at the river. There's the lakes. I mean, you can. Oh, this sounds amazing! You can I'm, I'm sail. You it. can paddle. You can <laughs> swim. You can actually use nature for your um, for your recreational. Um, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Wow. Karin, this was uh, lovely chatting to you uh, here on e-radio today. Uh, how do we get in touch with you? Well, I am, of course, at uh, from time to time, not always, because I do walk the farms a lot, um, at the office in, in Remax office in Sedgefield in Main Street, or you can phone me on 083-556-5103 or my email address is Karen, K-A-R-E-N, at Remax Lakes, lakes like the, uh, the, the water, yeah. <laughs> uh, .co.za. Karen, thank you so much and uh, enjoy the farm life. Thank you very much.